this video, I will show you how to create a new customer within VoIP.ms reseller portal. Let's get started. First, log in to www.VoIP.ms, then hover over on Reseller and click on Manage Clients Accounts. There you will see your list of existing clients. Click on the Create a New Client Account button. The Create Client page will allow you to input all the relevant information regarding your client. The mandatory fields are the customer's first and last name, email address, phone number, and password. We will create a fictional client named Michael Johnson. You can also associate this client with a pre-existing reseller package. In this tutorial, we will use the reseller package called Premium North America, $14.99. By doing this, the client will be charged for your chosen set of rules. You can also determine the next billing date and whether to charge setup fees. You can also choose the best balance management option, which defines if the client account will be suspended once the balance reaches zero. Here, I will select July 31st, 2022 as the next billing date and leave the other settings as is. Lastly, you must connect a sub-account to the client account created. You can either select an existing sub-account or create a brand new one. This is required as your clients will need sub-account credentials to link their accounts to their devices. To illustrate, I will choose to create a new sub-account from scratch by clicking on Create Sub-Account. When you select the Create Sub-Account button, you will have the following options. Two protocol options, SIP or IAX2. SIP is the most common, so I will leave it selected. IAX2 should hardly ever be used, and it's only recommended in applications with limited bandwidth. Authentication Type You can choose between a standard username and password, or get rid of the authentication by allowing a specific IP address. This last option is only available for the SIP Transport Protocol. Here, I will leave it as is. The username is pretty straightforward. I will set it to M-Johnson. For the password, make sure to enter a strong set of alphanumeric characters in order to ensure the strength of your client's account. Device Type Selection Depending on how your client will use the services, you have all options lumped into two groups. The first one is meant for PBX and similar systems, while the second one is required if your client is using either a soft phone app, an IP phone, or an analog telephone adapter. I will choose the option ATA device, IP phone, or soft phone. Once all required fields are filled, I will then simply click on Create Sub-Account. After the new client account has been created and you go back to Manage Client's Account under Reseller tab, you will be able to visualize the new client's name in the list or perform a search for other clients in your list. If, for any reason, your client profile has not been associated with a package and you would like to do so, click on Manage Client, represented by the yellow gear icon in your recently created client's row. Then, find the Assign Package link and click on it. Then select the sub-account you've created and click on Next. You will be prompted to the sub-account settings for the specified sub-account. We will leave all fields unchanged, except for the field Reseller Client Package within the section Reseller Configuration. Click on the drop-down menu and select any available options according to your needs. And this is how you can easily create a new customer within the VoIP.ms reseller portal. Please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.